Hey, hey, Dr. Dave here with USU Extension. Today's Tuesday two-minute tip is a parenting tip, actually two of them. And so uh, I like to talk about two, I think, really important tips that many parents struggle with and that we need a little reminder and some encouragement. And, and all of us, including myself, are guilty of these. So first is lower our tone. When we are with our children, when we discover that they didn't load their dishes or they forgot their homework assignment and they didn't put their shoes away or unload their backpack or their lunch or whatever it is that we're getting after them for, remember to lower our tones. It's low and slow so we don't lose control. And so that is, it's, I know it's a, it seems like a simple thing, but so many parents, if I could change one thing, wave my little magic wand, it might just be to change the tone of voice because children, it's, it scares them, especially little kiddos. And, and it makes them, actually research shows, it makes them more irritable and upset and angry and even hateful towards us. And so it does no good. Yes, in the short term it does. Maybe you'll listen. They don't listen unless I yell, Dr. Dave. That's true. They may not listen uh, or they may listen to you and actually do what you say. But in the long term, it ruins that relationship. And that's really what we're after. And so number one is lower your, your tone. And number two is keep it short and simple. Too many times as parents, we go on and on and then we repeat the same thing that we just said to our kids over and over. And they're like, okay, I get it, I get it. And you go, quit lecturing me. And so about 30 seconds, 30 seconds. If we find ourselves going on longer than 30 seconds, then it turns into a lecture. Lectures lose. We, we just lose out. Kiddos lose. They don't like that. They roll their eyes, especially teenagers, right? It is just keep the tone low and keep that, the reminder, whatever it is, that encouragement, say, hey, you know, I noticed that your backpack uh, wasn't put away or I noticed that you got home later than, than usual. Let's talk about it. And so um, those, are, those are important. Those are really critical keys because if you remember with the relationship pyramid, it is a happy, flourishing person first and then the couple relationship and then the parent-child relationship is above that. Keeping that parent-child relationship strong certainly influences the teaching and the correction. And so remember, it is connection, then direction, and then correction up at the top. And so if we can reverse that order and spend less time on correction and more time on connection, then they'll be open to our direction. So that's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave with Utah State, sharing tips to make life great.